Hello again, thank you for your company with me. Let me uh, continue the, the point that I was making yesterday, the parallel between the, the wife of noble character described in Proverbs 31 and us as the church, the bride of Christ, as we look at verses uh, 21 and 22. When it snows, she has no fear of, uh, f- sorry, when it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. As I've said so often during these uh, reflections, um, these are not deep uh, studies. These are not the result of me having read loads of books and uh, trying to uh, find out what the commentators say. This is a reflection on my first reading uh, in a long time and just trying to, to make some sense to think about uh, something that my mind at least goes off into. I hope in that respect they're helpful to you, but how your mind goes is uh, of course something that may be very different. But when I read about being clothed in scarlet, I think of the colour of blood. We are clothed in the blood of Christ. We are given our sanctuary, we are given our protection, we are given our safety through the blood of Christ, shed on the cross a long time ago, far, far away, but just as relevant, just as applicable, just as meaningful and precious to us as it has been to anybody. And so that sense of covering, that sense of being clothed, that sense of being protected, is what, to me, jumps out from these couple of verses. We are clothed in the righteousness of Christ. It doesn't look like fine linen um, and purple, but it's riches. Purple is a symbol, a colour of richness and uh, in the Bible, in the New Testament. And we have been given the richest, the most precious, the most wonderful um, clothing, covering that is imaginable. Just dwell on that for a moment. Just think about what it means to you and for you today to be clothed in the righteousness of Christ, to be washed clean by his scarlet blood. Now, as you think about that, as you allow that reminder to sink into your spirit, how will you live it out? How will I bear witness to that in the activities of my day Uh, and the days ahead. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you have given us everything through Christ Jesus. Help us to share. Amen. God bless you. Take care and have a great day. Please come back to me. Please feedback how you have found yourself able to share the generosity of God's protection with others. Take care.